we're gonna go to San Jose today. We're gonna be picking up some ingredients like pate, a baguette, and just some treats. And then we're gonna go eat at Tian Long. They have the turmeric dill fish dish. Really quick outfit of the day. Crop turtleneck, skirt, Chanel loafers, Chanel boy bag. Can't forget the sunny. We're really excited and we're gonna take you guys along with us. Hi Sebastian, are you excited for lunch? Do you like pate? Mm. Hi everyone, so we're gonna be making something called bonnet today. It's also called dodging beef. It's probably called that because it's so good you're gonna have to dodge people out of the way to get it. It's more of a breakfast dish. I had it for the first time when I went to Vietnam about eight years ago. It's definitely a dish that I wanna share with everybody. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate the meat, garlic, shallots, onions and just some salt, sugar, and pepper. So let's start. Oof, my eyes tend to water when I chop onions. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna marinate the meat. So we're gonna be using Angus beef today. I like to use seasoning sauce instead of soy sauce because it's less salty. Check out the pate. I got this in San Jose at Bun Mi Oven. It's the pork pate. It's what they use in Vietnamese sandwiches. It's really good. It's rich, creamy, and uh, very delicious. So I also got a few baguettes. What you can do, actually, this is what I do. We like to buy them in bulk. I put them in the freezer and then I take them out whenever I want some because they go bad really fast after one day they get stale, so freezing them really helps. We're gonna prep a few things. Cilantro, green onions, and a cucumber. Let's start cooking. Look at this. Mm, let's get some extra pate. Some pickled serrano peppers. I 
think he likes it. All right, last tip before I let you guys go. Good, bye, baby.